Hi guys, it's Nina, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do an awesome DIY crane lanyard for your room. They're super awesome, and if you put them by a window, they can make it look like birds are fluttering around outside. How awesome is that? They make your room bright and happy, and you can never go wrong with that. You will need some origami paper, lots of it, some thread, and a needle. So let's get started. You're going to take your piece of paper and fold it one side, making sure that the inside is white and the colorful part is on the outside. Then you're going to unfold it and fold it the other way again, making sure that you have the inside as white and the outside as colorful. Make sure and you crease it really well. The next part is to unfold it again and fold it diagonally so that you have a kind of obtuse triangle. Then you're going to unfold it again. And this is a little trick that the, the things, the books won't show you, but you fold it with the white side up and the diagonal again, making an obtuse triangle. It'll be a lot easier. Now unfold it. This part is hard. You're going to pop the middle up and take the parts that are folded down and grab the corners of the other parts and make it into a smaller square. That is tricky. Now that you have that, you're going to fold it to the crease. You're going to fold one side to the crease in the middle. Do that on all sides for four, four times. Now that you have that, you have like a kite shape. You're gonna. This is not something that you have to do, but you. It makes it a lot easier. Folding down the triangle part. Now unfold it again and. So you have your original shape, and this part is tricky too, but take the middle, the, the flappy part, and pull it back, making sure to only pull to the crease line and not over. Then you're going to take it and fold one, a middle, the, one of the flaps in. This is hard, and I suggest watching this over again. Do that on all sides four times. Now that you have this like thing, you have little legs that I call them, and then the little flappy parts. These little flappy parts are what are going to be your wings. Now you're going to take your legs and fold them so that they're halfway in, and so that you're making them thinner. Do that on all sides four times. Now that you have that, you're going to make your head and your tail. You're going to fold it so that you're, it's facing the other way and pull it up. It doesn't matter, your, pull your legs up. It doesn't matter what angle it's at, but I suggest doing it at the same angle. Now this already has a little bit of a head, so I'm going to make this the head. It doesn't have to be, you can make this the tail too. There is no exact thing. Then you're going to take your, what I am going to call my tail and flat, and pull it up and flatten it. Then you're going to take your wings and spread them apart. Make sure to do it slowly because it can rip if you do it too fast or crinkle. It, mine is ripping right now too. So now you have to make your, the actual lanyard. You're gonna start off by taking your thread and your needle and threading the needle. Then, and taking a putting a knot on only one of the strings. Only one. It's very important that it's only one. Then, you take your crane and find the hole at the bottom. Then you stick your needle through and find the center at the, t at the top and stick that through. Just keep doing that over and over and you're good. guys so much for watching this video on how to make a DIY crane lanyard. They're super great and they give the outdoors a little bit of a pop. I love them so much. 
I hope you enjoy making them and watching me make them. So, yeah. Wait a minute. Why are they moving? Wait, oh, never mind. What? No, they're moving. Ah, they're alive! Ah! Oh my god, oh my god. Don't make these.